All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Uj back in once again for another Boruto manga reaction. This is chapter 56, uh, Code. And I noticed on the front cover, I'm pretty sure that's Sumire, if I'm getting my names right. I know it's been a while, especially it's been a while since uh, we've seen this character. Uh, I wonder if she's going to play a role in the overall story, even within the manga. And I'm pretty sure now that I'm bringing this up, I think I did say that in a recent uh, reaction uh, for the manga series. So, and I, I, yes, I am aware, guys. I am aware that uh, some people have told me that the anime is actually fire. Finally, right? Finally. It's been, it's been, it's been way too long. But I, I mean, I, I knew it was always going to happen that way because, uh -huh, the manga has been here the entire time. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now, now, modesty does not become you. It was your cleverness that kept the damage to our village minimal, wasn't it? Which basically makes you the one who saved the village. Hmm. Er, it really wasn't all that, you know. In fact, I was passed out most of the... And what's it called again? That awesome jutsu of yours that swooped down and swallowed that notorious Otozuki hole? There are actually quite a large number of people who witnessed it happen. Okay, so it looks like Boruto's getting like interviewed on like on some like TV special right now. Oh, that uh, that's the. I wish this were over already. Yep, it definitely was. Okay, hmm, not bad at all. So I'm checking out Kawaki. How about the rest of you? Any points of concern this last week? Not really. It feels just like my old hand. I'm speechless. I didn't expect him to regain his hand so quickly and without any sign of rejection. Of course not. There wouldn't be as it's a genuine article engineered from his own cells. Just one of the spare parts I'd made before coming here. That's OD. This wouldn't be possible if he were an ordinary human and his whole body not a scientific ninja tool. Sorry, Kawaki. This is going to sting a bit. You know, I'm not a snotty-nosed brat. <laughs> you don't need to keep saying stuff. Just do whatever you need to do. Uh oh damn. Okay, all right, Kawaki, relax. She's just trying to do her job. Can the attitude, Kawaki. Show some gratitude towards your caretaker. Sumire is brilliant and a quick learner. It'll be in a world of trouble. Oh, I'll be in a world of trouble if you chase her off. What's with your attitude, Amato? Acting all bossy and having an assistant. Isn't Sumire one of Dr. Karas Karas Karasuke's staff? Why is she with you? Thank you, Kawaki, but this is what Sumire herself wanted. We were at a, all at a loss when it came to treating your body. It'll be good to have another member on our your care team. I still only know the basics, but you can rest assured from here on out. Of course, avoiding energy would help too. B besides, you're always hanging out with Boruto, so I can ask you about him too. Oh, she blushed. So does that mean that she has a thing for Boruto now too? I mean, or is it on Kawaki? And she's just using Boruto as a way to like have more conversation with him because maybe she has a crush on Kawaki. I don't know. Wait a sec. Do you like Boruto or something? Badump. Ah, uh, Kawaki. I uh, don't say it so bluntly. Let's keep our little secret, okay? Okay. So that answers that. She likes Boruto. Ah ha ha, though it's so very obvious. Whatever, it's no matter to me, so long as you're able to do your job. Excellent progress. I don't anticipate any big problems with your hand, but don't shirk the routine maintenance. Come back next week. Yeah, can I go now? Kawaki. No, never mind. Let's do it next time. Whatever. And they walk out. All right, so... So this is interesting. So we have a little love interest. All right, Sumi Day is into Boruto. Boruto probably has no idea, but like I've been really, you know, I mean, putting it out there, I've been saying, I've been calling this since, you know, the start of Boruto. I really do feel like at some point, how the story will come to its close here is Boruto will end up with Sarada. They will create, they will have a child or several children and the whole ninja freaking world cycle will come full circle from how it started until once we get to this this child once that child is born 
that Ninja World is gonna be like how it's never been before. That child is gonna be the most broken character of all time in 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 this in this universe. Unfortunately, it appears we are out of time. Everyone, please give another round of applause to the tiny but mighty hero who saved our village, Uzumaki Boruto. Ah ha ha ha! Oh shucks. Jeez, really, Boruto, acting all moonstruck. Cut him some slacks out of the. He's putting on a brave face, but he's more depressed than any of us. That's facts. They're keeping the stuff about karma and this rampage under wraps to avoid causing mass panic. And he can't go on missions because it's too dangerous. He's being secretly watched around the clock. Pretty unbearable if you ask me. Damn, that is OD. Yeah, but the no missions rule is applying to us too. We don't have a three-man cell without him. So Team 7 is on indefinite hiatus that sucks yeah that was my dad's decision could this hero treatment and parading him in front of the media be his way of making it up to him it's so insulting how why says chocho to not have to go on a mission and be on tv instead rocks uh how can you say such a thing in this company this is why chubbs what what's my weight gotta do with it yeah like yeah like what like i don't understand all right don't get me wrong i'm not blaming boruto or anything but it's just hard to come to gripes with that's all uh what's gonna happen next well at least in regards to boruto's karma they can they can't just sit around and do nothing they're gonna need to be proactive maybe master shikamaru has an idea or two only one or one would hope so now boruto's sitting on the stone faces look it's boruto he's so cute look how I eat. oh he, he puts his hand out waves he notices his karma oops what a huge bother this whole celebrate uh this is whole celebrity thing what go away if you're just gonna poke fun at me i'm surprised i thought you'd be a bit more glum about karma nah i was over it a long time ago it's just i don't know how to act or what i should be trying to do about it based on what we've learned so far both of our bodies are about 80 percent otsutsuki fied already and for you in particular the otsutsuki data is still continuing to extract itself from your karma and when that's completed the moment you finish becoming Momoshiki's vessel, you, Boruto, will disappear somewhere, and that bastard will supposedly resurrect in your body. Damn. It really sucks. I feel like I'm stuck in a nightmare. I thought of something that you could try doing. Why not prepare your own vessel? By giving someone else a karma? My own vessel? Mind you, this is only a, a hypothesis that I just came up with, but... If Momoshiki resurrects and oh sorry. If Momoshiki resurrects and you end up disappearing, if you had your own vessel somewhere, maybe you could also use it to reincarnate. Never thought of that, to be honest. Uh, that's one crazy theory. Besides, if I'm going if I'm gonna give karma and make a vessel, that means I have to sacrifice someone else, right? No way. Don't worry about that. I've got someone in mind already. Someone who'd be perfect. His name is Code. The only other guy to have survived the Jigen's ritual. What? Code? Oh, it's this guy. Code? What sort of person is he? He's the last Kata inner left. There are still outers, those... There, there are still outers. Those who do external contract work for Kata. Uh, out there in various regions, but once all the inners are gone, they'll essentially cease to function. So he's Kata's lone surviving officer. If we can get rid of him. In addition, Code was entrusted with guarding Ten Tails in that secure hideout in the other dimensional space. After Sasuke infiltrated it, they went on high alert. I probably don't need to tell you, but Ten Tails is a dangerous presence as long as it continues to exist so too does the danger of the planet getting wiped out via a divine tree it must be dealt with as soon as possible 
and yet Sasuke's space-time ninjutsu has been disabled along with his eye. And Boruto can't really control his powers, so even if you got there, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to return safely. That's true. This code. He's able to travel freely to and from that space? Of course. He doesn't have space-time ninjutsu, but there are others there are other abilities that make it possible in which case we need to do something about code before ten tails gets misused that's sound because once code is out of the way we can take our time to decide how to dispose of ten tails you're not wrong but be careful don't underestimate him code isn't like the others he's special mm, okay all right, so here goes Code. He's at some other village, and it's snowing. It looks like he's cold. Who are you? Do you know where you are? This is Boro's cult facility, right? I'm an I am an acquaintance of his. Could you just let me inside? Sorry, but Lord Boro ain't here, so go run home. Psh, stupid, stupid. Then again, you'd have to be dumb. You'd have to be... Wait, hold on. You'd have to be dumb to be gatekeepers. There we go. In this freaking freezing backcountry. Halt. This is your last warning. Yeah, before you die. Oh, snap. My man is out here. He means business. Jigen's ritual. What do you mean? Remember what I told you about when I was first brought to Kata? Oh, that. It's a ritual to screen Otsutsuki vessel candidates. Lots of kids are given karma, and those who aren't compatible have seizures and die. There were only two of us left when it came to my turn. I managed to survive Jigen giving, uh, giving me karma. I turned out to be compatible. Like I mentioned before, I passed out, I passed out that point and was moved elsewhere. So I didn't see what happened afterwards, but apparently Jigen gave the last kid karma also, but it failed. Just like the other kids that died, his body started to shake and spasm. He wasn't able to become a vessel, except for whatever reason, he didn't die. He survived just like me. He was compatible with karma. Damn. So, for some reason, he mu there must be something special about him that prevented him from dying altogether. Because that's kind of crazy when you think about it. Okay, he vanished. Hey, what are the these black binds? Oh, he's behind them. Hey, behind you. Oof. He got penetrated right through this, the chest. Oh, man, he's going for these kills. Damn, he's got him. You've worked so hard. You can rest now. No, 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 don't. Ay. Oh, hmm, hmm. Moving around has warmed me up a bit. But it's still pretty cold. Let's go inside. Wow. He can't be used as a vessel, but the karma remained. That's possible. It's certainly a rare case, but that's what happened. He survived, and as a result, his body retains karma aspect. Karma's aspect of being a weapon. We don't know what makes someone compatible, so anything's possible when it comes to this. Exactly. There's still a lot we don't know about karma, and the reaction that took place in Code's body is especially astounding. His combat abilities exceeded even Jigen's. Wow. What? Almost every member of Kata has had their body remolded in order to strengthen it, but it's the exact opposite in Code's case. He's had limiters put in to check his formidable strength in order to avoid the undermining of Jigen's position as leader. So man's got nerfed on purpose. That's OD. That's how strong he is. That's actually crazy. In short, he let himself be weakened for Jigen. Is he sane? Code was submissive to Jigen. He harbors a kind of religious devotion towards the Otsutsuki. Ishiki especially, he worships as a god. So Code bore strong adoration for Jigen, who had become an Otsutsuki. And for that reason, he nurses in... Damn, it's been a while. Oh my god. For that reason, he nurses it, he nurses intense envy of Kawaki 
who was chosen as Ishiki's legitimate vessel. That's how strong Code's feelings towards Otsuki are. That's crazy, my man. Wow, I, these characters that are just so like blindly invested in like other characters, like that's, yeah, like I, I'll never understand those types of characters. Like they're so strong, yet even when they're stronger, they put nerfs on themselves just so that their leader who they look up to can still be looked at and felt like the stronger ones. Actually, there were several cyborgs among those I had created. That greatly surpassed Jigen's power, but they were all disposed of as per Jigen's orders. Had you built them to take Jigen down? These cyborgs? Well, yes. It was after that, upon taking into account all sorts of scenarios that I came up with Kash and Koji. But I digress. To sum it up, Code is an exception who escaped disposal due to his unwavering loyalty. He was Jigen's strong right-hand man. If he finds out Ishiki has been defeated, he will likely seek retribution. Then I'll be a target for sure. Worst case, Boruto too. I've been marked since I betrayed Kata. Kawaki as well. What about those limiters you installed in Code? He can't just turn them off with a thought, can he? No worries there. I'm the only one who can rescind them. Although, if you were to kidnap me and return me, you're in trouble. I'm not a pro like the two of you. I know I'll break pretty easily. God, fine. We'll keep a close eye on you. All right, for now, dealing with code will be in the priority number one. I want to share our chrono 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 chronology. I can never pronounce that. And intel with the other villages. Shikamaru, make the arrangements. It's Go Kage Summit time. Oh, snaps. We're about to see the other Kages. All right. It's been a minute. I never thought about implanting this in someone else. But now that you mention it, I feel like it's possible. If we're supposed to be... Uh, if we're... Wait. If we're supposed to be come Otatsuki, it would stand to reason that we could use their special moves and jutsu, like space-time ninjutsu. But this guy code he already has karma right is it even possible to give him a different karma i have no idea but at the very least he survived being given karma that's what's key if it were so easy for karma to stick jigen wouldn't have had so much trouble so it makes sense to try someone who's already survived it once plus he isn't anyone's vessel for sure, but you know, I'm feeling really reluctant about forcing this thing upon somebody. You're kidding, right? You got no choice unless you want to die. Let me tell you, Code is strong. Stronger than Delta and Boro, so far as I know. He's not the type of enemy you'd normally want to go up against. That no longer has Kurama's power, so he won't be as strong as he used to be. Besides, we can't just keep depending on him forever we gotta step up damn that's wild that they're that they're he's they're talking to each other like this i don't know how strong this code is but do you know kawaki what we shinobi do in times like these huh what are you talking about we train duh come on let's go oh so here comes code hey bug my word, if it isn't code, what are you doing here? On an errand for Jigen? Jigen's dead. Likely Boro too. Hey, now. Trouble's afoot, I see. What's up? I, what, oh, I'm sorry. What's happening? A lot. Things have gotten busy real sudden. By the way, how's Ida? Or Ada? What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure Boro secretly stored several cyborgs here that Jigen had ordered to be scrapped. Though I don't know. Uh, I don't know his motive. Maybe some ace up his sleeve. Anyway, take me to them. I have absolutely no intent to defy you, truly, but are you certain that that Borto? All right, I'm sorry. Are you certain that Boro is dead? If you're lying ill. All right, but in exchange, you'll pay me, right? Here you go. What in the world are you steering up, Code? Hello, Ida Ada. 
You who knows everything in this world. Yo, what? Ada, who is this character? All right, so episode, or chapter 56, uh, my overall thoughts was that it wasn't a bad chapter, but I should have expected that this one was going to be a lot more dialogue heavy and kind of setting up what's next to come of this arc. And obviously, we learned a good amount, um, especially about Code. Code is someone that was a vessel and should have died, but for some reason did not. Now, other than that, I, of course, wanted to know who this ada character is she kind of gives me that uh kaguya vibe if you will she's like he this is like female human kaguya almost but you know we'll have to wait and see exactly who this is um like i like i said overall the chapter was pretty solid so i'll definitely give it a pass now if you're coming from any other videos i definitely want to say that we do react to dragon ball super manga reactions as well or that's redundant i should have said starting with super manga okay but uh i would definitely appreciate if you guys go ahead and check out those reactions as well and if there's anything else you guys want me to check out please let me know in the comments i'm gonna be definitely uh changing the structure of this channel um but don't worry anime content remains but it's just how i'm gonna be dishing them out so let me know what your thoughts about this chapter was and anything that you like didn't like about it going forward and don't forget to check out the dragon ball super um manga reaction as well and the previous reactions if you missed out on any of course as well take care guys may the power protect keep it locked little right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see y'all next time